Alrighty guys, welcome back. We are back to where we left off. Um, we're about to start the battle. A pair of guards are standing around murmuring as soon as you enter. They turn to face you. The shocked look on their face is absolutely priceless. However, they quickly regain their composure and rush into attack. Other in HP and energy, there is one, blah, we read this last time, didn't we? Yeah. Let's fight. Alright. So, in order to do this, we've got to skill Beam of Arcane. Uh, yeah, we'll go with Guard 8. Okay, skill. Drain life. Gonna do that from Guard B. Yeah. So hopefully this will work, and it'll even it out. I'm not sure if you should attack one more than the other, or how this works, because I don't really play these types of games. Uh, back. Let's defend. And... Use a skill. Let's heal. Let's do a defensive one here. Of course, you have the sorcerer. What are you talking about? <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's a good thing we healed. Very good. Alright. Uh, so, skill. Let, no, let's do a basic attack on guard A. Skill. Bolt on guard B. <coughs> Ooh. That one hurt. That's gonna kill us. Yeah. Oh, uh, I should've healed. Man, why are they gotta be so hard? We may die again. Dark sacrifice on the sorcerer. Um, okay, sorcerer, use the skill, uh, defend. Yeah. Okay. Mm, we need to heal the vampire somehow. Reliable healing spell on the vampire. Um, and I guess that on guard A, hopefully. Hopefully this does him in. Oh my goodness. We died. Hope is lost. We died. Dang it. Oh, I could have saved. Alrighty, guys. Well, I'll be right back. <laughs> uh, I really hope you guys enjoy this series, so. Yep, I'll be back. Dang it. Um, uh. Alrighty, guys. Third time's the charm I've saved, so. Let's do this. Come on, guys. Um, I also switched to a cultist instead of our vampire, so. <sighs> Hopefully, this works out. Okay, um. Item. What do you have? No? Then why did you show me item? Okay. Skill. <laughs> Uh, increases magic, restores HP level 1. No, we quit reliable, reliable healing spell. Alright. Sorcerer will use his beam of arcane energy. Oh, really? Can't use that, huh? Oh, well, that's not gonna be good. Um, what? What? My cultist is all that I have? Well, poop. <laughs> oh, great. Let's see how he does. Mm -hmm. That did nothing. Well, cultist didn't really help. Oh, these guys! <sighs> load. Okay. I'll do that. Yep. Load it. Mm hmm. <laughs> Dang it! Oh, and I saved it with the cultist, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, wait, why are all three doors 
That door's supposed to be open. You're open. Yeah, exactly. Let's go this way. This is something new. Something new. What? Oh, -ho -ho. found one broom. Lovely. A mop. Plain key. Peaceful path. Learning to put banditry behind you. Do you wish to take it? Of course. <laughs> you decided to steal the book about learning not to steal. Oh, that was comical. Alright, um... You notice this bed is particularly tiny. Do you... Open? With great trepidation, you pull the covers to reveal... Nothing except for a smell that reminds you of freshly cut grass. It's quite pleasant. Uh, use an item on it? I don't have anything that'd work here. Examine. The bed itself has been made so tightly you could bounce on a button off of it. However, underneath the bed you find a small dusty box. Inside the small wooden is a small wooden idol. Carved to resemble rottened female a uh, ro rottened rottened is that a word? Ah, a rotten female goblin. Do we take the idol? Of course we take the idol. You never know when it might come in handy. All right. You decided you've have enough of diminutive furniture. Diminutive furniture. Words I've never heard. But kind of cool. Very cool. <gasps> oh. I see. You use the plain key. You unlock the chest. A click in. The, the click sound it makes is quite satisfying. The lock is now open. Okay. You have found four restoration crystals. Woohoo! Rest restoration crystals are very important items. It's hard in the 1980s difficulty. Aside from a few high level skills, restoration crystals are the only way to revive dead characters. Ah, I see. They restore HP as well as resurrect the dead. So you should always make sure to have a couple on hand. Okay, so. What is that thing? No, seriously. Um, I guess you need to search around and try and find things in this game. Which is kind of cool. I like it. Alright, let's do this. A pair of guards are standing around murmuring. Alright, let's fight. <laughs> Third, fourth time's the charm. Okay. Um, skill. We'll start with... No. Sorcerer will do a beam of arcane energy. Why can't I do the beam of arcane energy? I don't have any items. I have restoration crystals, that's not really a big deal. I don't understand why I can't use items. That's weird. Or use my magic stuff. Oh, I only have energy one and four, that's why. Can I use you? This is party strength. All allies. Can I use it? Yes, I can. Uh, let's take out Garde. Oh, I need to heal. Oh, damn it. Well, that was useful. Increase my own strength. Alright, um. No. What we need is an item. Restoration crystal. Revive the sorcerer! Because that's the kind of guy we are. Oh, noises. Cool. Back to full health. That's good. So that's how you're supposed to do it. Alright. Sorcerer. Beam of arcane energy. At guard. Uh, yes. 
Okay, cultists, we want to heal himself. Right. Holy! That one. Oh. Okay. Um. That's good. That's good. Uh. <laughs> attack. His attack's not very good, though. Eh. Um. Yeah. We're just gonna kill Garde. We're gonna try anyway. No! Not again! Why are you so weak? Why do you have to be so weak? Ooh, 4 HP. Alright. Um, item. Restoration crystal on the sorcerer. Again. We have four of them, so... No! No! Ah, oh, you serious? Okay. Um... <laughs> Dang it, man. Oh, why? Why does it have to be this difficult? Why? Also, why is it going off the screen? It shouldn't be going off the screen. Hello? Alright, fine. Whatever. Alright, so... No, really, it shouldn't be doing this. Okay, whatever. <sighs> you know what, guys? I think I will be back when I've almost defeated these guys. This may take a long time. <laughs> so, I'll be back. See you guys in a few seconds. Alrighty, guys. We are back, and we have killed the first guy. So... Um, let's see, let's still, uh, restores his HP, very good, and, um, can't do that one, alright, attack, guard B, I focused all my energy on him, he evaded, good, very good, oh, good, very good. Skill. Uh, let's do focus. All right. The sorcerer will have beam effect. All right. Cool. That works. On guard B. Okay. Do -do 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 oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Cultist, um, probably gonna have to use the restoration crystal on the sorcerer, and, uh, the sorcerer, probably attack, but, uh, oh. well, oops, that was a waste of a restoration crystal if I've ever seen one, oh well, oh well, alright, um, uh, skill him. Beam of arcane energy on guard B and attack. Why not? Pro maneuver right here. Did it work? Yes! Haha! -ha! You got 10 gems and 300 exp e exp exp experience. There we go. Exp. Don't know what an exp means. Um. Okay. So now that that's done. Let us save! Yes. Write that file. I don't want to have to fight that those two ever again. We good? Yeah? Okay. Would you like to go to the next level? Of course. You've cleared block one. Level one. Yay! We cleared the first stage. And it only took two episodes. Yay! You can feel some of your power returning. You may summon one of your formal thralls to aid in your escape. Choose wisely, they will function as your party for the rest of your adventures here. Okay, so we figured out that combat is awful. So... Uh... Huh? 
Light armor and one accessory. Uh, yeah, let's summon a Minotaur. Didn't look at any of the other ones, but nah. <laughs> I like that, but nah. You come across a hunched over old goblin, goblin sweeping the hallway. As you approach, he turns around, his eyes slowly widen to the size of saucers. He looks around to make sure no one is around and quickly hobbles up to you. What are you doing here? Ah, sorry. What are you doing here? How did you get out of your cell? A very strange mouse helped me. He squints at you. A mouse, you say? He thinks for a moment before suddenly letting out a gasp. The spirit of the book. The who of the what? After a furtive glance over his shoulder, oh, a after a furtive glance over his shoulder, he leans in closer. Right now, you are in a magical artifact of great power, the Liver Claustrum. A book that isn't really a book at all, more like it's its own extra extra-dimensional space. It is used by heroes, under orders from the king, to, impr to imprison evil and maintain peace in the realm. Evil, such as you, and I. When someone or something is put here, they're supposed to go into a deep sleep for all eternity. Dreaming the dreams of madmen. But, as we know, that isn't always the case. Sometimes the spells designed... Sometimes the spells designed to sap our power don't work. Other times, the spirit of the book has been known to interfere. Other, either way, the result is usually the same. An inmate escapes, the guards hunt them down, they relish in the excitement. What do you ask? What exactly is the spirit of the book? What are these gems everyone's carrying around? And what do you do here? Well, he's mopping the floor, so that seems like a dumb question. So let's ask about the gems. Ah, those gems are very special property. If you look into one and concentrate, you briefly see the outside world through someone else's eyes. For the people in here, it offers a brief but intoxicating bit of escapism. Most people here actually use them as currency. After you've been here for so long, being able to see the real world even briefly is more valuable than any sword or diamond. After hearing the explanation, you feel very curious. Do you look into a gem? You look into a gem and concentrate. You feel yourself slowly being drawn until in until everything goes dark. There's a flash of light, and suddenly you're standing at a bathroom sink. You look into the mirror and see a middle-aged man staring back at you, placing a hand on your rather round gut. You let out a deep sigh. I used to be so skinny. Really? <laughs> I'm sorry. That, that, that's not very nice. Um, you think to yourself in a voice you've never heard before. Suddenly there's another flash of light and you're back in the living room with the goblin. He gives you a knowing look and nods. The gem in your hand has crumbled to dust. Oh, really? What is the spirit of the book? I don't really know. No one does. I think she's an intimate inmate who escaped, like you. Uh, I guess what do you do here? I mostly just clean up after the guards. They let me stay out because I repented my evil ways and I make the laundry smell like fr freshly cut grass. Oh, so that's his place. But believe me, if I could, I would burn this whole place to the ground. Um, can we, can we leave? I is that a possibility here? Probably just a waste of time. You figure you should put back the gem. Okay. Oh, there's more. Ah. Is there anything I can do to avoid the guards? What do you do here? What are these gems? Okay. Heh. You're lucky you met me. It so happens. I know. See. He sees the wooden idol you're carrying. Hey, that's mine! How'd you get that? I found it while I was ransacking someone's room. 
Sorry, I didn't know it belonged to anyone. Here, you can have it back. Ah, uh, you can have it back. He snatches the idol out of your hand while grumbling something in Goblin. As I was saying, there's a, there is a safe place. He turns around abruptly at the sound of two men talking in a room down the hall. There isn't much time. He hands you a red feather. There is a safe place where the others like you are hiding. If you continue through the cell block, you will eventually come across a dark pit. Jump into it. This feather will ensure you wind up at the sanctuary. Good luck! Oh yeah, watch out for the knight. He's in charge of this block. Before you can ask more questions, he turns around and hurries down the stairs behind you. There's stairs? Do you see stairs? I don't see any stairs. Where's the freaking stairs? All right. When you're exploring, most enemies will display a floating cloud of shadow. Getting near the shadow will start a battle, but also beware that certain sneaky foes will be visible ahead. won't be visible ahead of time, so be prepared. Uh huh. So we'll just close that. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh no! Random encounter. Alright. Well, he's got some bad hits, so we'll do scout A. Sorcerer will use the skill of arcane energy, and scout B will, uh, yeah, we'll do scout A first. And cultist will use the skill of divine power, all allies. Really? Why are you going for the cultist? It's not the one who's gonna murder you. Zero HP, what? What? Increases the Yay, our party strength has been increased. Cultists, um, let's defend the cult cultists, the Minotaur. What skill do you have? Deal damage based on your strength modifier. We'll just deal a little bit of extra damage then. And... Arcane energy on scouting. Okay. Three HP. So these guys aren't very good for that. Huh. That kind of sucks. Okay. Um. It's... No, not a restoration crystal. Skill. We can put reliable healing spell. No. Do we need it? Yeah, we'll try it. Or we'll have it. Sorcerer will use Beam of Arcane Energy. Scout A. And our Minotaur will use nothing because he doesn't have any energy. Uh huh. Scout B, maybe? Why are they going after the cultist so much? Is it healing me? Or? Uh, I don't know. Interesting. Uh huh. Okay, cultists will uh, defend. No. Oh, I can't go back, can I? Nope. Do a basic attack on Scout A. Sorcerer will do basic attack on Scout A. Trick attack! Oh, on the Minotaur. That's, that's fine by me, I, I guess. Defend, defend, defend. You guys all just defend. deal with that. Uh, skill. New bolt of arcane energy. Alright, we have to kill this guy. And that's gonna do it uh, after this. Whether we die or not, this is the last battle of the day. So, yeah. Oh, crap. We need 
need to heal our Minotaur. And our cultist! No! Ah, uh, that's not good. Hey, one's gone. Woohoo! Um, item. Revives an ally. Let's do our cultists. Very good. Uh, defend. It's fine. Yay, he's back from the dead. <laughs> uh, he gets 500 HP for those? Dude, that's awesome. Alright. Um, sorcerer. Do another beam of arcane energy, I guess. <laughs> we'll have him defend, and the cultist will not use an item. Skill. Quick heal. On the mind. Uh, they're easy when they're just one, but no. Very, very difficult when it's more than one, that's for sure. Even when it's just two. Can't wait till it's all four of them. <laughs> uh, Alright, so... Defend. Again. Let me use the beam. Alright, good. And the cultist will use the skill of quick heal. On the minotaur. Again. Why is he not healing up as much? Alright, put us to 11. That, that kinda sucks. Alright, our cultist will attack, I guess. Sorcerer, do you have any energy? No, you do not. Alright, attack. Item. Oh no, this is our last one. I'm sorry, Minotaur. I didn't mean to use the last one on you. Oh, actually, I kind of did, but yeah. <laughs> All right. Cultus will use the skill of... Um, oops. Oh. Uh, Guess he'll just attack. Scout B. That's fine. You don't hit very well. Uh... Ow. That hurt. <laughs> attack. Scout B. Attack. And attack. Ooh, 24, what? How much health does this guy have? That's the only problem I have with this game. No health bar. Can't tell how many more hits it takes. Alright, cultist, uh... Yep. Out of those potion things, so reviving him is gonna be dang near impossible. Lovely. I didn't save before I did this either. Can I access the menu in this? Nope. Well. Yes! Thank goodness. Leather helmet, leather cape, seven defense, next. Sorcerer reached level two! 
max HP, 21, strength 1, you have gained a new skill level in Focus, increases magic for one turn and generates energy. Volt has reached level 3! Woohoo! Max HP, you have gained a new skill, and Smite causes extra divine damage. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, so if we hit F, he's still dead. That is not good. So I will see you all in the next episode when we ransack this place. <laughs> and yeah, I'll, I'll see you then. Bye bye everybody.